Hey guys, Brandon here with the West Texas Hunting Guys. We get a lot of questions about hog hunting. We do a lot of hog hunting here in Texas. And one of the main questions we get is, what's the thing you do to draw the hogs in? Um, what's your recipe for hog slop? So we wanna share with you guys a quick, easy, cheap way to draw hogs in, and that's doing a really sweet um, hog slop that we make up um, with deer corn and other ingredients we're gonna show you right now. So stay with us, quick video about how to draw these hogs in. Get her punchy, super punchy. Let's get punchy with it. <laughs> Follow me for more cooking content. So one thing we found that works really good in this hog slop is to get something just sweet. Uh, the my personal favorite is the Hawaiian punch, fruit juicy red. Just soaks in real good, it's really sweet. Those hogs love anything sweet. Super punchy. And if there's extra, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, we also need yeast. Yeast is kind of the activator, um, which is a word I heard recently. I know what that means, obviously. <laughs> but here we go. Yeast. Um, I just get, look at this, fast acting. <laughs> See, now it's good. I usually just get a roll of three, dollar fifty nine, toss that in there. Long work. We also get uh, jello for it. Um, jello kind of helps it, you know, glue together a little bit, also it gives it a little texture. I don't know if that's real, but it also makes it sweeter. So uh, don't get sugar free though, sugar full. Also cheap. I get a couple packs of strawberry, keeping the red theme going. I don't think hogs are too picky, but they really like strawberry is what I found. All right, so we are back from the grocery store, got all our supplies. Um, I like to start out by mixing up a lot of the uh, liquids and stuff first. So again, starting out, we got our big thing, a Hawaiian punch. This is just to sweeten it up. Um, this is all gonna be absorbed into the corn and make it really good and sweet smelling. Um, as we have all that in, here's a tornado method. See that? <laughs> Science, not that it does anything different. It goes faster. Okay. <laughs> Uh, next, we're gonna mix in a couple packages of just some strawberry jello. Um, I get a couple because they're like 89 cents, and the sweeter you can make this stuff, the better. Um, and then we have our catalyst, as it were, um, which is our, our yeast packets. Um, this helps to really start a quick fermenting of this corn. The whole idea is you want this corn to ferment and uh, uh, start start being extra smelly and pungent really quick. So I just crack open all three of these, dump them straight in. And then I get my lovely assistant uh, to get a stirring stick. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Come on, stir that up first. We're gonna stir that up. Um, just kind of get it all mixed in. After that's mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and pour some corn on top of it. I usually have to fill the corn about, about halfway up first and we'll do another stir. Oh. A stir and stick. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all a quick look at what this looks like. Kind of make a sloth there. Now, we're gonna add some water to it. Obviously, if you have a hose nearby, that's handy. We just got this to mix it in. We add a little more corn. Overall, it's gonna be about a half a bag of corn that we're doing here. Um, Next thing you want to do is just make sure water's covering about an inch over that corn line. What's going to happen 
is that corn is going to start soaking up all of those juices, all of those sugars, and the water level is going to go down. But it's important that you keep uh, keep it liquidy. Don't let it get dry. Once you have that mixed up to your perfection, we're going to go ahead and seal this up by putting a lid on the top. Don't close it all the way because if you close it up all the way where it's airtight, as it ferments, it's going to expand and you're going to blow the top off that thing and have a super sour concoction all over where you don't want it. So we're going to kind of half close it down. Um, put that out in direct sunlight is what I like to do. Let it ferment. Let it ferment. After a day, open it up, come check it, add a little water if you need to, again, to keep that water level high enough where it's not drying out. This can be good to go in as quick as 24 hours and as long as a week. There's not really like an end time you have to put on it. Obviously, the longer it goes, the more sour, the more stinky and moldy it's going to get. But hogs really like anything like that. So that's it. Really quick, easy hog slop you can do. All that was probably about $10, including the bag of corn. Yeah. So um, quick, easy way of drawing hogs. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. We're more than happy to answer any questions you have about consistency, about timing, anything else like that. But or, or any suggestions you have if you guys are making slops, anything that you would add or do different or something that might be helpful to us too. So we've had some success with it, but no we're always interested in uh, learning more. And hogs will get on this. Um, within 24 hours of you putting it out there and they'll come back for two or three days Which is the cool part. That's the draw to having this is it's not just like they come once because it seeps down in that ground So and, and usually we'll bury it too. Usually yep. we'll dig a good hole. Did you already say that? Nope dig a little hole pour it in there that way It, it, it takes them longer to just um, eat that corn and again it seeps down in the ground. So yeah uh, Follow us on Instagram West Texas hunting guys um, subscribe here follow this uh, this thread share it and We'll see you guys next time. Yeah, thanks. Oh gosh, that is out. Yeah, I don't want that to leak. Well, it's dry faster. Oh. It smells like alcohol. <laughs> All right, so we're going to slop this little road right here. This has been sitting here for like a week. I think almost exactly a week. So she's going to be pretty saucy. <laughs> Str the circle is real. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was pretending, but I'm really not. Oh my gosh, she is a sour curdled mix. And it's only gonna get better towards the bottom when I dump this thing out. Stay tuned for more gaggy reflex action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to edit some I'm <laughs> Okay, I'm back in it. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh guys! <laughs> oh, it's so raunchy. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, oh, bear me straight. Okay. Oh, it's on my hand. Okay. Should be a good hunt tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> start that over. That was rough. Click, unclick.